You want it or not? Yeah, I can. I can't say no. I'm addicted. You want it or not? Yeah, I can. I can't say no. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Pour 
pour avoir une femme qui les aime. Oh oui, je connais aussi des hommes qui ont des femmes qui sont incapables de reconnaître cet amour même. Well, Michigan is pretty uh, uh, predictable right now. It's going to be kind of wet and just rain. And, uh, well, you know how Michigan is. You can do it. Yeah. 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 De voir un mec dans la rue qui brutalise sa femme parce qu'ils ont les petits problèmes. Pour moi, plus du camping, ton amour, c'est le là qui fait battre ton cœur. Les femmes sont nos bébés, il faut les cajoler. Les femmes sont nos bébés, il faut les cajoler. <laughs> well, I grew up in uh, many different places. Actually, I was born in Cuba. Um, so this was the open, but there were a my men. Okay. Okay, okay, that's really very interesting to know. So, what did you study in school? Well, uh, I, I did it feel like in school we had did the art of science. Yeah. School, I was doing the art part. I was pretty much in Okay, um, look at me. Um, we'll take um, a short, a short musical break, and um, we'll be right back in a minute. Okay. See you pretty soon, Mokembe. And if you're just tuning in, the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And uh, today we have an uh, uh, incredible and much talented Mokembe here with us. Stay tuned, people. This is Apex One Radio. You know me, well, you know my name, Natalia. And I'm with Auntie Mama Nyan King Kong. This is for my queen. Na EDP Na EDP Change my 
one, my baby, yeah. Marry me. Say I do. Cause nothing will replace you, honey. Nothing will replace you, my baby. Cherry, girl. illuminate my feet. If they put you on a Halle Berry, nah, you. Even they put you on a Charlotte Panda, Music, they say, is a piece of art that gives, that goes through the ears straight to the heart. Musicians and artists all over the years have considerably influenced trends in fashion and social behavior as a whole. African music has not been left out in this whole evolution as we have seen a lot of our own African artists emerge and seize the limelight. Today on Apex Snapshot, we have as guest Mokambe will single Past Life has been creating a lot of impact even though it was just released barely a few days ago. Most artists will say their music will tell you more about themselves than they will always do. But we here at Apex One Radio, we went ahead and we took that risk and that chance to bring to you Mokambe so he could tell you about his hit single past life and more about himself stay tuned people if you're just tuning in this is apex one radio and the program on air is past live and in about a few minutes from now we'll be heading to michigan where we have this incredible act uh artist and um He's going to tell us a lot more than we can hear from his song. And uh, he's going to give us a little bit insight into this whole past life idea and what went in as far as uh, post-production is concerned. Also, on this same edition, we'll be talking to Crystal Beauty of the Crystal Beauty Show, who happens to be the manager of this artist, Mokambe. So stay tuned, people. Enjoy this music and we'll be right back with you, people. Na Eddie B. Na Eddie B. Let's go. Ooh. Where my baby at? Where my baby oh? Where my baby at? My baby oh. My baby at? Where my baby? Where my baby? Eh, eh, eh. Baby, will you marry me? Say I do. I say, baby, you go marry me. Say Cause you don't change my life for good I not be the line Now you be the one, my baby yeah. Marry me Say I do Cause nothing will replace you, honey Nothing will replace you, my Cherry girl Cherry got to illuminate my feet Since the day when I meet up you, my baby I know be no say Now you gon' be the one for change me yeah, yeah. Now my life be better Now my future better, better. Me and you Together we taking all over the world together Baby, Since baby, I met you, you, my baby, nothing in life in the thing My baby, yo, I know the life My baby, my dream is to make you my wife My baby, yo, since I met you, my sweetie Nothing in life in the thing My honey, yo, I know the life My baby, my dream is to make you my wife My baby, 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 more Baby, will you marry me? Say I do I say, baby, you go marry me Say I do Cause you don't change my life for good I know people my baby, yeah, marry me Say I do Cause nothing will replace you, honey Nothing will replace you, my Cherry girl Cherry got to illuminate my feet If they put you on a Halle Berry Now you Even they put you on a Charlotte Panda Now you Baby girl, you fine, fine. Now so you the shine In and out, everything go, everything go Everything go, hey Hello 
all beautiful listeners of Apex One Radio. If you're just tuning in, then the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And today we are talking to this um gentleman, Mokembe, who just released his single, Past Life. And um, as I promised you, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to have a little bit more of education. Because if you haven't listened to it, then you should just go get your copy somewhere. I don't know how he's going to tell us that. Because this piece is really educational. So anyways, I'm not here to do um, all of that. He's going to do all the talking. I'll just do the questions for now. So yeah, right now we are heading to Michigan to talk to this gentleman named Mokambe. And uh, he just released his single, Past Live. And today he's here to tell us all about it, all about um, himself too, so we could get to know the man, we could get to know the brain behind this beautiful work of art. Hello, Mokambe. Hello, Miss Carissa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Okay, good to know. Good to know you're doing very well. So you are in Michigan. How is Michigan this morning? Michigan is okay, kind of gloomy in terms of weather, but everything looks good. Okay, good to know. Everything looks good. Like, it always gives some positive vibe when things oh, look yeah. good. <laughs> okay. <Absolutely. laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you're here today to tell us about your music. So, let's begin with you, the man behind the music. So, <laughs> who is Mokambe? In the, it's Mokambe, your real name. Yes, Mokambe is my last name. That's the name that runs down my family line. Um, yeah, it is my real name and my uh, artistic name too. Uh huh. Okay. And, mm-hmm. Okay. So, where did you grow up? Well, I was actually born and I was actually born in Kumba at uh, Boya Road, Miami Next Hospital. And then I uh, grew up the first few years of my life in my village, um, Bonge, Marumba, right next to Kumba. Yeah. After a few years, I moved to um, to the northwest province with my aunt and lived in Bengui. Uh, I lived in Bengui for about four years. And then when I was from three, I moved to back to the southwest where I lived in Tico, and I lived there for um, the better part of my time in Cameroon after that, till I uh, finished my uh, secondary school, came back to Kumba. I've been around, came to Kumba, and then finally went back to Tico, and then I uh, found my way to the United States. So I've been around. Yeah. Okay, Um. I mean, like... Traveling a lot all over Cameroon, you must have had like all these cultures impacting your yeah, being oh, yeah. and all of that. So, oh, yeah. which is the funnest of all the memories? Well, uh, life in Cameroon is, is, is one of the most beautiful things that I can imagine. I mean, uh, most people here in, in the United States, I think they do miss the lifestyle in Cameroon. Uh, uh, the best of all that I would say I loved was um, the life in the village. Some people would be surprised. I loved the life in the village. It was it was fun, you know. You don't have to worry about a whole lot. You just have to relax. But, I mean, life everywhere is good. I like life in, in America, too. It's good. So, um, yeah. which of these, which of these experiences influence your art the most? Well, my art, me doing music, has it's been influenced um, a lot by uh, the kind of family where I come from. You know, my my mother was always a singer, um, and she still is. She walk around the place singing. You know, um, and then I grew up with my aunt most of my most of uh, my life in Cameroon, and she encouraged singing. And even while I was in primary school, like in the first few years, class one, class two, class three, I mean, we had a lot of singing going on in school. So I've always been into music and singing. 
And then when I lived in Chico, I um, I attended a Pentecostal church, full gospel church. And if you know, if for people that know how Pentecostal churches work, there's a lot of music, live music oh, yeah. in the church. So I have always been into music. I, I played the bass guitar, I played the piano, played the drum set. So I have always been into music. Yes, and then I, the only thing I did different this time around was to take it professional. Okay, yeah. that's 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 really impressive. So tell us about your education. What did you study in school, and where did you school at? Well, um, in Cameroon, I studied. Uh, you know, in Cameroon, in high school, you had arts or science. You know, um, I used to do arts. I used to um, uh, do literature, history, geography, and uh, um, economics. So I used to do all that. And then I uh, life jacket. <laughs> for people that know Cameroon. Yeah. <laughs> life jacket will mean religious study for the English-speaking uh, Cameroonians. Yeah. So I did all that. And um, after graduation, I came to the U.S. and uh, did nursing. And I'm working as a nurse. On the side, far from music. Okay, so <laughs> how has uh, your education influenced you, like, influenced your music? Well, literature in Cameroon, if we know about people that have studied in Cameroon, they know that literature has a lot to do with, uh, music has a lot to do with literature. I mean, uh, the rhyme schemes has to do with poetry, and then you have to be creative and all that. So literature that I did in Cameroon actually helps you, and the English in Cameroon language generally helps you, but that's not all what really influenced me in music. The lifestyle, the way you grow up, I mean, uh, a lot of stuff did influence my music, but the education, and educational-wise, the literature we study in school, um, helped me a lot in writing, you know, in, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so, yeah, I know a lot of people would already know the answer to the question, but I'm still going to dare to ask, because uh, most of times uh, the the reason why we move to the United States, say, for greener pastures, to look for greater opportunities, like, was, was your moving to the United States because you wanted to find an opportunity to 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 do music or was just for your life to better your life as a whole? <laughs> well, well, my answer is actually different from the obvious. Oh, okay. okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I moved to the United States because typically because of pretty much because of family. Okay. You know, my family has been out here in the U S for a very, very long time. And, um, after a while, it just, uh, tradition, well, that um, um, after a certain age, somebody the next person comes, when you go, you get some level of education in the country, in Cameroon and all that, you come over, at least we try to see the next person come over to meet others. So yeah, I pretty much came to the United States at a very young age, uh, well, depends, at the age of 21. Um, and uh, I have been here pretty much because of family, and that's the main reason, because, I mean, no okay. one could have seen worked for me. So yeah. is American. that uh, so? Does that justify why you live in Michigan? Is it because your family is in Michigan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Family. laughs> I get that. I get that. So yeah, yeah, talking about your relationship with music, you already told us a little bit more, but I want us to go like deeper in it. When did okay. you discover that you wanted to take music as a career? Well, I got into, I, I, I've always wanted to take music in a bigger platform. Um, but when I actually decided to hit the studio and start recording music to take it professionally, it was just last year, actually, in 2015, that I chose to take music professionally. Okay. You know, like, yeah, I've always been there, but, you know, if you do it in a local uh, platform, you get a few people you can reach with your music. Because my music, as you know, is actually gospel Afro pop. It's to reach out to people the message that are carrying me. 
Okay, okay, that's that's really it's really nice. So, how many songs have you composed so far? Man, I have. Uh, sometimes I even mistake in counting now because it depends on how I uh, look at them. I have actually completed, done, and made songs. I have between um, that are ready to come out, but I'm just holding on to them right now. I have between over 10 to 15 songs or even more that are already made and uh, they're just ready to be released, but it will come with time. So, um, yes, I do have quite a few songs. So, how done. okay? So, how many have been released so far? So far, I have two out there publicly, uh, Feeling Me and The Past Life that I just uh, uh, released last week. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you're just tuning in, then you're tuned to Apex One Radio, and uh, we are talking to this incredible and uh, very talented young man. He's really interesting and fun to talk to. Uh, his single, Past Life, was just released a couple of uh, days ago, and if you haven't listened to it, then I don't know what you're waiting for. But in the meantime, we'll continue talking to him, but for now, we're just gonna take um, a very brief musical break, and we'll be right back to continue talking to Mokambe. Okay, oh, yeah. stay tuned. This is Apex One Radio. Avoir une femme qui les aime. Oh oui, je connais aussi des hommes. This beautiful piece is titled My Femme and it's sung by Dynastilla De- Tigre and um, Stanley Eno. Mais qui sont incapables. De reconnaître cet amour même Ta femme, c'est ton plus beau cadeau Si tu ne peux pas prendre soin d'elle Quelqu'un d'autre le fera à ta place Et tu verras Oh yes, the best of music and entertainment Only here on Apex One Radio Si tu ne peux pas prendre soin d'elle Quelqu'un d'autre le fera à ta place Et tu verras je trouve ça tragique De voir un mec dans la rue Qui brutalise sa femme Parce qu'ils ont les petits problèmes Comment peux-tu taper ton amour C'est le roi qui fait battre ton cœur Les femmes sont nos bébés Il faut les cajoler, oui Les femmes sont nos bébés Il faut les cajoler, oui You know every beautiful thing needs pain, no pain, no 
That's the rule of the game Better read the of your mind Cause you know no lo no be play God damn, 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 damn. She don't want your beautiful rain, rain. Brother better be real, real. Love her under the rain, rain. Better call her baby See no end for the cover to be uh, At the end of the day Two high day cause you're blue yeah. When love is gone she talks and she don't die You can ask my nigga Then I see the tiger You know me Well you know my name Not Stanley And I wait until my man Young King Kong This is for my queen Ta compagne C'est ton plus beau cadeau Si tu ne peux pas prendre son d'elle Quelqu'un d'autre le fera Ta place Et tu veux la Ta femme C'est ton plus beau cadeau Si tu ne peux pas prendre son d'elle Quelqu'un d'autre Femme de mes rêves L'homme de mes rêves I love you I love you Baby girl I love you I love you I love you I love you Baby girl I love you Daddy 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 oh Daddy 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 oh Daddy 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 oh Oh yes, and we bring to you this beautiful piece titled Daddy Daddy and it's done by Mimi Paris featuring Dynasty Le Tigre. The best of music only, only, only on Apex One Radio. Daddy Daddy, Daddy Welcome back on Bad Apex One Radio. And if you're just tuning in, the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And we are broadcasting live from our studios here in Columbus, Ohio, in the United States of America. And uh, before we went for this short musical break, we were talking to Mokambe, who just released uh, his single, Past Life. And uh, we've been talking to him all the way from Michigan. And he's been telling us a lot of this fun stuff. And it has been a very interesting interview so far. I'm not trying to make you know that you've missed a lot if you're just joining us, but um, it's never too late. So right back with us is Mokembe. Hello, Mokembe. Hello, Karista. Yeah, yeah. So how are you doing at this point in time? <laughs> Well, once again, I'm doing very well. Thank you, and I hope you're doing good too. Oh, yeah. You should know from my voice that yeah. I'm doing pretty well. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, before we went on the musical break, you were telling us about um, your 
life as a person and a little bit about your musical career. So yeah, mm -hmm. let's start music right. now. So you told us you've had a couple of songs written and uh, you've just released two of your singles, the latest one being Past Life, which was released Correct. a couple of days ago. So mm -hmm. who is your manager and why did you choose her to be your manager? Well, uh, Crystal with the Crystal Beauty Show is my manager, um, and uh, I did uh, I did choose her. I did think she should be the manager because of uh, um, the work she does. She is um, very uh, supportive, creative. She can um, criticize when it comes to the time to criticize. She can encourage when it comes to the time to encourage. And she can be able to work with me in getting the right connections to the right direction where I am heading at. Okay. So, yes, I believe she, um, those are some of the few reasons why I think she makes a good manager. And she has her own reasons why she chose. To oh, work. yeah, and definitely she's going to come on in a few minutes and she's going to tell us all about that. Don't bother. We, we, we okay. will know, we'll know everything. Huh? We'll know. <laughs> So yeah, so when did you come in contact to, to with her? Did she actually uh, move to you to ask you like, would you want me to manage you, or you had to like go to her to ask her to be your manager? How did it work? Well, we met through a friend of mine who is a friend of ours. Okay, a mutual friend. Yes, a mutual friend. Um, he introduced us both, and me and. Um, Then after that, we just became friends, first of all, just talking as friends. And then after a while, um, just being friends, we, I, I realized how good she is with her work that she does. And she too uh, saw my talent and um, apparently decided that she can manage that. And I felt like she was up to the task. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, that mm. sounds like um, something someone intelligent would want to do <laughs> okay mm -hmm. so yeah so far how can you i mean i can tell you, you you like working with her but so far how can you evaluate the progress you've you've made since you signed to her oh i mean it's been uh amazing it's been amazing she she is just taking things to a different level Um, anybody that has been following me before and then is following me now, still following me, can can tell that there's, a, there's been a big difference in the level of publicity of my work. And, I mean, uh, in, uh, there's a whole lot of knowledge coming in in the promotions. Okay. And so far, because that's what I've been based on as of right now. But, uh, and she has a lot of package in mind okay. coming up. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah. sounds pretty exciting. So... Talking about your music, when you sing, when when you write songs, what 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 are your target audience? Or who well, are your target audience? Excuse me. Well, here's the thing about my music. When I when I write a song, before I actually even if I get an inspiration, I think about if I'm going because I get inspirations to write all the time. Now I think about if who this song is going to be for. I have songs that go just for the parents. I have songs that go for the youth, for the youth. I have songs that are for kids. I have different songs. I don't. I I, I write a song with respect to the target that I'm writing, and I try to make sure they kind of meet up with the language they understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and what, what like when you when you, you when you're trying to target this audience, what what are the kind of themes you exploit in your songs? Okay, now, I, pretty much, uh, mind you, the song is going to end up being, is going to end up being up to God's glory. It's going to end up being a good oh, okay. song. Yep. Now, when I'm talking to the youth, like, for, if you listen to Past Life, when I'm talking to the young people, Past Life was uh, pretty much for the young people, you know, and uh, uh, I look at the situation at hand, the condition, how life is going on right now at the moment. You know, um, the way people are living their lives, the kind of things that are not going right. I try to target them and get a message out to the people, not just for the reading for people to dance. Yes, maybe they'll dance to it, 
but then now I'm trying to pass a message, you know, and um, that's that's how I think for writing my music. If I write a song and the message doesn't seem to be going through, that song is not getting released. Okay, okay. That 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 sounds like an artist I would want to listen to all day. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy that uh, we have people out there right now who are thinking about what message they're passing across to their listeners because a, a lot more of what people pay attention these days is about the the, the rhythm and not. The lyrics. So I'm really happy to hear you as an artist say that. And I must say, I listened to your your song "Past Life" and it spoke to me personally. And I believe that it's gonna speak okay. to a lot of youths, like because right. it covers like different spheres of life. And um, that's really oh, yeah. something you could uh, listen to without uh, questioning yourself what you're really doing because sometimes I, I would listen to some songs and dance to and I don't even know why I'm dancing to it like yeah that's and that's that's a song you can listen to without fear of yeah. guilt <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and the beautiful thing about it is um, this this some kind of rhythm that you will listen the beats that you will listen to a song that does not carry a message the, I mean I try to incorporate the beats of this, I mean, a good and attractive rhythm to it. And then in that attractive rhythm, I put in a message that will mean something to somebody's life. Okay, Mohambe. Again, we're gonna take a short musical break, but this time we will be listening to Feeling Me. That's your first oh, yeah. single. So, That's you right. guys just <laughs> grab a cup of coffee and um, it's chilling time. We're bringing to you Feeling Me by our own guest of today, Mohambe. Stay tuned. This is All Apex right. One Radio, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not a one. Yes. Mokambe. Flex. Yes. My name and I was in this. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling you. Cause God is the bottom of my breath to you. Oh, yes. We bring to you feeling me by Mokambe. Ah. Feeling me. I'm feeling you. Nobody got fit to touch my life. Nobody just stop the comfort. Nobody got fit to touch my life. I'm like a cocoa. I'm cute and I'm sweet like a chocolate. I made them the track to the feet of it. My God, it messed me like this. So I'm cute like a cocoa. I'm cute and I'm sweet like a chocolate. I made them the track to the feet of it. My God, it messed me like this. So anything I do, I can't be the first. Anything we are doing, I got be the first. I'm feeling you. Cause God didn't want to make it to you. Hey, are you feeling me? Are you feeling me? I'm feeling you. Cause God didn't want to make it to you. Hey, when I walk in, they walk, walk, walk. If you know you are blessed, make you follow me, dance, dance, dance. Make you honor the Lord. I want make you shake your waist. Are you feeling for the Lord today? Je veux que tu danses de la même façon pour Jésus. C'est juste un matin tu es chez nous. The body goes hot and my breath is. Don't go there on top of my mother. My daddy, mm hmm. Ini mi ni mi ni mani mo. Ini mani mo. My daddy, now you are go place. The body go contest. So, oh. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling you. Cause God is the bottom of my breath is. Oh, eh hey, hey, eh. Are you feeling it? Ah ah. Oh 
yes, this is uh, titled Feeling Me and it's done by Mokambe, our honorable guest of today. The best of music and entertainment only here on Apex One Radio. Stay tuned, people. Listeners and welcome back on board Apex One Radio. If you're just tuning in, then the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And uh, so far, we've been talking to Mokambe, and uh, he's been telling us a lot about himself and uh, pretty much more about his um, single, which he just released a couple of days ago, which is titled Past Life. And right now, he's with... Uh, Beautiful Crystal Beauty, who happens to be his manager. What an incredible duo. So right now, we'll be talking to Crystal Beauty alongside Mukambe, and they're going to show more light into what went down preparing and bringing up this beautiful piece. Hello, Crystal Beauty. Hello, Mukambe. Hi, Carissa. How are you? Hello, Carissa. Okay. Good to have you back, Mukambe, and welcome on board. Crystal Beauty. Thank you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so, Crystal, um, you should be in Texas, I think. Yes, I am. Okay, so how is Texas today? It's a quiet morning. <laughs> okay, quiet morning. Yeah. How's the weather? Is it raining? Or? No, it's actually sunny. Okay. So... Soon after you decided to sign up this artist on the Crystal Beauty show, what was the initial step you took and uh, did you ask him to go ahead and do a song? Um, so when I met Mukambe, he already had uh, a song out. So when we decided to go to move forward, we just basically worked on a lot of promotion and a lot of, um, I'm, I'm releasing Feeling Me, of course. So that was actually the first step that we took. Okay, so together. yeah, he already told us a little bit about how you yeah. guys met and everything, like how it was, how you you ignited the fire, like how he you brought him into your label. So maybe we should start from there, like how when how did you meet and when did you become convinced that this is someone you would want to sign into your label? Okay, just to correct you real quick, I actually do not have a label. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I am just a manager. So okay, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. So we, we, we did meet a true friend. We have a mutual friend who sent me his work and wanted me to advertise and, and promote him, especially on my website. So that's how we got to meet. Oh, okay, okay. So... When did you become convinced that this is someone, and what did you see in him that made you convinced that this is someone you would want to work with? Oh my goodness, I saw a lot of passion. Passion, you know, I I love people who have passion for what they do. So um, first, he has a lot of passion for what he does. He's a hard worker, and what he does is really good. And I was very impressed. So that that was what made me to decide to go ahead and work with him. Okay. Okay. Over to you, Mukambe. Um, uh, yeah. When when did you come up with Past Life? When was the initial inspiration for that song? Well, the the inspiration. Uh, well, let's start with when. Um, I started writing Past Life right after I released Feeling Me. Um, that's right about uh, June. June. I started writing the song, and uh, the reason. The inspiration for that, you know, I, usually I sit back and think. I kind of, I, I do a lot of thinking before writing. Um, I sat back and I was thinking about um, 
um, I had a message one time in church, actually, when uh, the pastor actually was preaching and talking about that the things you do should not, the things you did should not determine your tomorrow. The negative, just because you did something negative in the past should not determine how your tomorrow should be. You have to let it go and then let God, you know, like, let go and let God. So when I thought, when I kept thinking over that, kept thinking over that, I kind of came up with um, uh, the, the, the rhythm that are flowing in my head, you know, like, uh, say bye-bye to past life, you know, and then why I kept thinking about that, and then, boom, the song started flowing in my head, and I immediately uh, communicated with uh, my producer in Cameroon, uh, you know, shout out to Slim Beats, for best music in Cameroon, he is, he's, he's incredible. He's oh, incredible. yeah. I, I immediately communicated with him, and then he came up with something real quick. It beats real quick and sent to me. As soon as I heard the video, I'm like, that's the beat I'm going to use. You know, and uh, yeah, that's how come it came. That's how come past life popped up into the, into the scene. So, so how, how long did it take you from this time you had this, in, uh, this initial inspiration to come up with the entire project? Well, uh, that's one thing, too, about uh, music. It took me quite a bit. It took me just between June and now. Oh, wow. And June, between June and when I actually released it, well, that's how long it took me to be on the 24th of September. Just do the math. June, July, August, September. So about three months. Okay. And it took me to, to come up with this completely and to date of release. Yeah. Okay, you just said something now that caught my attention. So your producer is from is in Cameroon. So the person who actually produced this song produced it from Cameroon. Yeah. Okay, so how was it? Like, did you face any challenges working with a producer that is like thousands of miles away from you? How was that like different from maybe having to work with someone you could talk to or run to the studio if you had something to amend or something? You know, that's that's a very, very good uh, a point you're making right there. Sometimes you get challenges. I mean, being in the diaspora, I mean, um, having to work with uh, the producer that you actually really like, and he does good work in, in, in Cameroon, you know, um, is different. The, the feel is different because if you are right there with him, you there's some things you can put in and take out and all that. The feel is very different. But even though we go through all that challenges, it ends up we, we communicate right and we pass out this information right. We have to sometimes redo it. You know, sometimes you have to do a song and then like, okay, this I think if we would have done this here or did that here, it would have sound a little better. What do you think? And then over the phone, yeah, we talk about that. And then I take it back here and redo it again and send it back. Sometimes you have to go through that. Not necessarily the case with past life, but um, sometimes we have to go through that. So this is some of the challenges when it comes to the fact that you're being far away from your producer. Okay. Yeah. So, talking about the video of this song, when was it shot and uh, who directed the video? Well, uh, video, uh, Feeling Me video was actually shot here, because Past Life doesn't have a video yet. It's coming pretty soon. Oh, okay, yeah. Feeling, I noticed that. <laughs> Just yeah. yeah. Feeling, feeling Me is the one that has the video, and it was actually shot here in Michigan by um, a very, very talented Cameroonian um, uh, director, um, Tembi Muna. He is in Atlanta. Uh, he used to be in Michigan for a while, and then he moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, he is the one that actually shot the video here in Michigan. Oh, okay. So, and to our able manager, like, human resource-wise and financially, how, 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 how heavy was this past life project on you? Oh, my goodness. It was extremely <laughs> heavy, especially financially. Yeah. Um, like you mentioned earlier, the producer being in... Cameroon, we obviously have to pay the producer to do the beat. Yeah. We have to pay to record the song mm -hmm. and pay to master it and obviously pay to shoot a video. Um, so, yeah, that's 
definitely a lot on us financially. Okay, and right now the 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 song is out, and um, trust me, most of the times the songs that make hits are maybe oh let me put it this way most of the time some songs are really beautiful but they don't get the attention they deserve okay listening to this song it's a beautiful piece i would want to listen to it every day but you now as a manager how do you hope to how do you intend to bring this song out there to the people how do you intend to promote and market it um right now we have scheduled we are scheduled to do promotions between now and december okay and we have we have put aside approximately $5,000 or maybe more to do promotions, not only in the USA, but in Cameroon as well. Okay. So we intend to promote it on TV stations, radio stations, obviously online promotion, and we have other private consultants that we are currently working with, both in Cameroon and here. So, yeah, that's that's the plan we have for promotion, promoting this particular song. Okay, so... Do you plan to have uh oh is he open to bookings do you do you plan to have him like in uh to ha have like a tour or something or or is he open to bookings like if i have uh, an event and i would like him to perform can can that be possible Oh yeah of course we are always open to booking as in terms of tours we don't have anything planned yet Okay but yeah definitely performances he even um he recently just performed last weekend in Dallas at the Kiss of Death movie premiere. Um, so we, we, we are working on getting more performances as well. Oh, okay. Okay, talking about you and the Crystal Beauty show, what other, which other artists have you signed? Um, I have I've not signed people going to use that word sign. Like, oh my God, um, you're so scared. <laughs> uh, it's a prophecy. You, you're going you're gonna to be big and you're going to sign uh, people. No, Stop being scared. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's one of those things where you have to know what you're good at and just stick with that. Okay, you know, okay, yeah, that's true. That's that. true. Yeah. Um, but I have worked with uh, Pandita Eta, who is also a gospel artist. She's based in Ohio. Um, I've also worked with Afro DJ, uh, the team in Cameroon. And um, I don't know if, if you remember, but they recently re released their Chilufumi music video. Um, so those are, the, those are the people I've worked with. Okay, um, over to Mokambe. There's this thing you said, and um, I, I would really like to know. Coming in as a Christian musician and, um, and, and uh, having just these positive messages to put out there, sometimes a lot of people would say um, sometimes it's not cool to be good. Like, Literally, <laughs> I don't think that's possible, but that's what a lot of people say. So, like, how does that does that pose as a challenge to to your art, or you just shut your ears and do what you're doing? Well, here's the thing. Um, you know, you will be very surprised to find out how many people actually uh, actually really want to hear this kind of message, but they just don't get a chance to hear it because they just want to play cool with the other people. Yeah. Some people, just, really in their mind, they don't want to be gangsters. They don't want to be out there in the street. They don't want to be there at the bars. And be, but just because everybody else is doing it, okay, well, let me be cool then. Just because this kind of music is not available out there for them, they're trying to want to dance something that they don't really want to dance. Like, um, I remember growing up, like I said, in Pentecostal Church. Um, I know Christians that, um, mostly young ones, the, that the youth in age, they will be walking by the street, you know, like they usually, we have discotheques in Cameroon. Yeah. But I don't know, you know, I mean, they'll be walking on the street, and then they hear a nice circular music. The rhythm is good, but the words is not the kind of word that your dad or their pastor told them to play in church. Oh, yeah? But when they hear the rhythm... The year the people you play, they start shaking their head. But then before you know it, they're like, oh, that's not gospel music. Stop. And then they stop. But then if we can give them the same rhythm that they have always loved, and then it's gospel music in it, they will have no reason to be worried about it. They will simply just dance whatever they had already had in their mind to dance to it. And then who's safe? 
gospel music cannot be played anywhere else. It can be played anywhere. It can be played even in the nightclub. Why should anybody have to dance for circular music in the nightclub? Who says that? Where is the Lord that says that? I mean, if we go to the nightclub and say, now God, do we, now God, do we, you know, people dance in the club. Yeah. Yes. Why that? Make more. Yeah. Okay. So that's, Okay. That's where I okay. Okay. So, um, you want to give your contacts uh, out because uh, probably there's a lot of people who have been listening to us so far, and I'm sure they can't wait to have you in their events or to hook up with you for some business reasons. So, if you want to give your contact, then you can uh, go ahead and give it now. This is that time. Okay. Um. Well, you can uh, find me on every, almost every social media. Um, you can find me on Facebook at uh, Mukambe uh, Music Official. Um, that's my Facebook uh, uh, fan page. You can always write me on there anytime, and I usually respond. And not necessarily me. I have a team that will respond in less than uh, two, three minutes. You get somebody right back at you. And then you can find me on Twitter at Mukambe Official. Instagram, okay. you find me at Mukambe Official. And then if you go to uh, Snapchat, you actually find me at Mukambe Official. You know, a lot of people get to me quicker on Snapchat. Mukambe okay. Official, you get me there. And then, mind you, uh, um, Facebook is Mukambe Music Official. Oh, okay. Everything is Mukambe Official. Okay. Okay. Um, over to Crystal Beauty. Is there anything you would want to tell us before we pull the curtains for this interview? Of course. Um, <clears throat> I would just like to let everyone know that Mukambe is the best. <laughs> you guys go out on Facebook and SoundCloud and listen to his songs. And please, please keep sharing and, and liking all his work. That way he can get to where we want him to be. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you have the most amazing manager. I, <laughs> I think I believe that too. I believe that too. Amazing. Okay, and um, this is how we pull the curtains for this interview. But wait, 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 don't go yet. You know, you can't just leave us like that with that amazing voice. You think you just come and talk and go? I mean, drop something for oh. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? A lot of freestyle? Oh, yeah. A cappella? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to um, sing something on uh, like the intro of Past Life, so you will check it out. And then you might be able to hear the words clear. I know be no sin, I saw you day. See my life will change from night to day. Now I realize not so you day. And I am feeling so great. I love you no know, sin, I saw you day. See my life change from night to day. Now I realize not so you day, oh God. Now I am feeling so great. No more gray, gray, gray. Things don't change. See the blood don't grow. Thank you very much. And it was a beautiful thing to be with you guys on air. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mokambe. It has been a fun interview with you today. And thank you for bringing more light into the Apex Snapshot and into our studio. And we'll continue to follow you and continue to hit us up if you have anything which is coming up. And we'll always be there to do our best for our own. Again, um, we'll talk to you next time, Mokambe and uh, Crystal Beauty. Um for now, this is where we end this interview for today. But then we'll have a short musical break and uh, we'll come back to give the last words. Bye, people. Okay. Yeah. La femme de mes rêves. L'homme de mes rêves. I love you. I love you. No come back, still my little bitch. I know be no sin, I saw you there. See my life change from night to day. Now I realize that's who you there. Oh, just in case if you haven't listened to this beautiful piece titled "Past Life" by Mokambe, this is your chance, people. Enjoy good music. 
positive message. Oh yeah, that is more coming. Things don't change, change, change. See the boy don't grow, grow, grow. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh. No more gray, gray, gray. Things don't change, change, change. See the boy don't grow, grow, grow. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh. I say boom, bye, bye. Oh yes, bye bye to past life. Don't let your past determine your future. Put your hands in the air. Everybody make a dang baba God. Put your hands in the air. Everybody make a dang baba God. Put your hands in the air. Everybody make a dang baba God. Put your hands in the air. Everybody make a dang baba God. Put your hands up, people. Give all the praises to God. If he say you dead, if he say you be bad man. See HIV day, smoke at the pass for quiet. Now for day your eye to shine. See now day your eye to shine. My remind the pass for job. Now for day you want to enter. Yeah, fineness, strongness, anything, anything. Job day, soup day, anything, anything. See anything without God, no vanity, no vanity. I call this one a vanity. Fineness, strongness, anything. Boom ba. Job day, soup day, anything. See anything without gun of vanity. vanity yeah. I call this one a vanity. Yeah. I say boom bye bye. I say bye bye to past life. I say boom bye bye. Got a control for my life. I say boom bye bye. Got a control for my life. I say boom bye bye. I say bye bye to past life. Yeah. Put your hands in the air. Everybody make good dang baba god Put your hands in the air Everybody make good dang baba god Put your hands in the air Everybody make good dang baba god Put your hands in the air Everybody make good dang baba god With that uh, we come to the end of today's live edition of your favorite program Apex Snapshot Special thanks to all our listeners in uh, Minnesota, in Michigan, in New Jersey, and in Texas. Especially all of you listening to us all the way from Cameroon. This show was monitored by the entire Apex One Radio team and produced by Marcel Eddick from Europe and supervised by Ennis Kendo. I have been your girl, Carista LaBelle, at the central microphone, asking you to please join us again again next week for another very interesting edition of your favorite program apex snapshot until then it's bye-bye from me in the stay tuned to apex one radio thank you Take you to Dubai, yeah. For our honeymoon, that we built from the